Hi friend, today we are going to discuss the new point from the unit second that is classical method of analysis. Classical method of analysis. In the classical method of analysis, the analysis is based on the performance of chemical reaction that is the analytical methods analytical methods based on chemical reaction is known as the classical method of analysis is also known as weight analysis weight analysis the classical analysis are divided into the two groups like or the classical methods they are uh, divided into two classes the first one that is volumetric analysis and the second one gravimetric analysis in volumetric methods there is the measurement of volumes and in the gravimetric analysis there is a measurement of mass of compounds now the volumetric methods they are again divided into two subclasses like two subclasses that is titrimetry the first one titrimetry and second one that is volumetry in the titrimetry the volume of solution of accurately known concentration is measured with volume of solution of the species to be determined okay that is these are the titrimetric analysis the accurately known concentration solution also known as standard solution in second subclass that is volumetric analysis in here uh, the gas evolved or absorbed in the chemical reaction is measured and correlated to the concentration of the species present okay in here volumetric analysis the gas evolved or absorbed is measured gas is measured now the first subclass of volumetric analysis that is titrimetric analysis there is detailed study that is basic terms involved in the titrimetric analysis we can understand in the today's lecture that is first subclass titrimetric analysis in titrimetric analysis there is uh, this technique is based on measurement of measurement of volume in here that is the volume of one solution required to react completely with a definite volume of another solutions the one of the solution contain the analyte that is compound of interest in the titrations it is a process of a definite volume of one solution that is the definite 
definer volume of one solution of non concentration non concentration to definite volume definite volume of another solution is known as another solution known as titration the titrimetric analysis that is uh, the titrimetric methods are very fast it is fast methods then it is accurate and more convenient more convenient compared with compared with gravimetric analysis now the terms involved in the titrimetric analysis uh, there are different terms used in the titrimetric analysis the one by one terms like the first terms that is titrant titrant the buried solution buried solution is known as titrant the buried solution is known as titrant then second one titrant titrant the solution in conical flask is known as a titrant conical flask solution is known as titrant and the buried solution is known as titrant then second one titrations titrations attrition it is a process of determining unknown concentrations unknown concentration by adding by adding titrant by adding titrant solution to the to the titrant until the reaction is just complete okay it is the titration it is a process to finding the unknown concentration by adding titrant solution to the titrant solutions okay there are two solutions is important to finding unknown concentration of the any solution in here the titrant solutions and titrant solutions These are the important to find unknown concentration of the solutions now now then next one burette It is laboratory glassware 
is used to measure exact volume of the solution used for the titrations that is the measurement Burette, it is glassware used to measure volume of the solution. Measurement of volume of solution used. The next one equivalence point. equivalence point in here the equivalence point that is the titration at which titration at which the amount of titrant that is amount of Titrant that is burette solution is chemically equivalent to the amount of is chemically equivalent to the amount of amount of substance titrant The equivalence point it is theoretically completion of chemical reactions the next one end point end point the point at which the completion of reaction is practically observed when using an indicator the end point occurs when enough titrant has been added to change the color of the indicators that is end point is completion of reactions complete reaction by using uh, suitable indicators the next one titration error titration error it is the difference between it is difference between equivalence point equivalence point and end point titration errors it is measured the difference between difference between equivalence point and end point of the reaction last one that is indicator indicators it is substance which is used to indicate the completion of reactions in titration by changing color of solutions that is substance used to indicate to indicate completion of reaction by changing changing the color of solution